Hey, FameFinder fans. Amanda Holden has made her stance on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry abundantly clear, asserting that the British public doesn't care about the couple. The Hard FM Breakfast presenter voiced her opinion after Graham Norton claimed that people simply want Harry and Meghan to live their lives peacefully in Montecito, California. During an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Graham Norton questioned whether the average Brit cared about the Sussexes, noting that Harry and Meghan had defied Prince William and Princess Catherine, who seemed to be universally admired. In a resurfaced 2023 interview, Norton said, Do regular people care that much? I don't think they do. I think they just think, let them live their lives. On Friday's episode of Heart Breakfast, Amanda Holden referenced Norton's 2023 interview, echoing his sentiments. She remarked, I think you're right. I think the press makes so much of it, but none of us really care. Fellow presenter Jamie Theakston agreed, adding, I think we don't care that much. Amanda Holden is among the celebrities who've shown support for Catherine, the Princess of Wales, via social media after the royal announced she was undergoing cancer treatment earlier this year. Holden wrote on X, formerly Twitter, wishing the Princess of Wales a speedy recovery and praying this announcement satisfies the bloody thirsty mob who really need to shut up and leave her alone. Since stepping down as working royals in 2020, Harry and Meghan have relocated their family from Frogmore Cottage in the UK to the United States. Their subsequent personal projects, including Harry's memoir, Spare, and the Netflix series, Harry and Meghan, have generated considerable controversy. In recent weeks, the couple engaged in actions perceived by some as provocative. They embarked on a tour of Nigeria hosted by an individual wanted by the FBI for money laundering. Meghan was even declared a Nigerian princess, though she has yet to use the new title, Adanma. Additionally, Meghan and close friend Argentinian polo player Nacho Figueras launched the latest jam and dog biscuits, although Nacho's dog appeared disinterested in the biscuits. Critics noted the timing of these events coincided with Princess Catherine's public return at Trooping the Color. Social media buzzed with accusations that Harry and Meghan were attempting to overshadow Catherine, who's battling cancer. Despite the backlash, neither Harry nor Meghan have apologized. A recent YouGov poll highlighted the Sussexes' declining popularity. The survey revealed that Harry and Meghan are among the least popular members of the UK's royal family. Catherine, Princess of Wales, emerged as the most popular, with Prince William coming in a close second, enjoying a 73% favorability rating. At the bottom of the popularity rankings is the disgraced Prince Andrew, with a mere 6% favorability. Meghan follows with 26% and Prince Harry slightly higher at 31%. This decline in popularity is significant, especially considering that Harry and Meghan were once highly regarded. Royal expert Hilary Fordwich, speaking via express.co.uk, described the Sussexes' fall from grace as the biggest plummet in popularity in history. She emphasized that the decline was by choice noting that Meghan is now selling inexpensive online items while Catherine participates in prestigious events like Trooping the Color. Fordwich's comments encapsulate a sentiment shared by many royal fans. The Sussexes' diminished popularity feels well-deserved given their actions. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like this video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to FameFinder for more royal updates and juicy celebrity news.